So you, you're probably sick of drawing cars, but if you'd uh, like to take us through the quick process, if you like, that'd... Uh... I'd love to. I never get sick of drawing cars. <laughs> so I'm going to take you through the, the process of the, the Z4 design. And the Z4 is sort of inspired by the Z8 at the front end. And it starts with these low and wide kidneys and these higher set um, headlamps which sort of peel over the front wheel arches. And we have uh, very large uh, wheels that really set the car on the ground because it's a, it's a sports car. And then what's really unique about this car is that it has one, one unique setup for the, um, the headlamps, two of the BMW Icon lights vertically organized. And what this does is it gives a really unique look um, to the car and it's the only one in the BMW portfolio that does this. We have a classic roadster proportion with like the long hood, um, the cab rear wood, cockpit. When we move over to the side of the vehicle, we have one very clear and precise line stretching from the front to the rear. So it's, it underscores the clamshell hood of the car. And in the process of stretching from the front to the rear, it drives the entire sculpture of the body side. So it moves from a dark into a light and then transitions into a muscle. And that's, I think, um, a really nice element of the car. You know, one of the things that sh which really strikes me about uh, being a, a roadster owner and driver is that it's a really thrilling experience when you when you drive open top in a, in a two-seat car because you feel everything. You feel the, the road um, a lot stronger. You feel the, um, the environment around uh, coming in inside the cabin. And I think that's why in this car, it was really important for the character to express a lot of passion and a very sort of thrilling sort of feeling t uh, to the vehicle. Once you see it, you should want to get into the car and want to drive it around. Does designing a, a roadster uh, as against a hardtop present any uh, difficult challenges for a, for a designer? Um, one of the challenges, I guess, is that we have to account for the way the roof mechanism is going to work, uh, which you know typically is not really such a big issue. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the weight of the, of the top. Um, and so that's why it's really nice in, in this instance where we move to a soft top. We save a lot of weight and add a really good amount of uh, performance to the vehicle. In the terms of the, the design process, mm -hmm. where, where does this sit? Where are we? Is this, is this how you would you know, do your very first sketch or have you already got things in your right. mind? Yeah, this is mostly at the beginning of the design phase. Sketching is really important at the, at the beginning because it's our easiest way to show what's in our head to other people because while there is a design brief, perhaps it's, oh, we want to be sportier, that does uh, play a role, but still it's down to the designers to come up with ideas on how to express that and how to express that in a BMW context you know, once we build a clay model, that's already quite a big time intensive um, sort of investment. So the quickest way and the most efficient way to show what potentially the car could be is to make a sketch. And it's a very unique part of uh, car design because it's always had such a focus on the, the artwork side of things because these things are not very easy to build prototypes of from the get-go. With a design sketch, you can capture the emotion and the feeling very quickly, and people can make decisions if this is the, the way to go or not. You know, sometimes we uh, don't necessarily uh, sketch by hand now. We like move straight into computer sketching. Um, it saves one step of scanning <laughs> um, because, you know, people want to be a bit more efficient. Um, and also in the computer, you can do many more iterations very quickly. Here's those double round uh, headlamps. We basically do as many till we feel that 
um, you know, here is a strong design theme and sometimes it takes a while to get your head around it and understand the car that you're drawing and um, understand what you're really trying to go for in terms of the character of the car. So you, you've designed the Z4, was that thrown open to the broader design team or were you just se selected like, okay Carmen, you're doing mm. Z4? Yeah, typically each uh, project that we do is a design competition, okay. which means that um, every designer proposes their ideas, their interpretation of the car, and then we have a look at which proposal has the best uh, potential and which one's most appropriate. So um, while we're all competing against each other for the pitch, um, they might select, say, six proposals on the wall um, out of the whole team and say, um, yes, let's develop these into digital models. And then uh, from there, they, the digital models might get narrowed down too. So then there's maybe a few and then we present them, we might uh, look at them in uh, VR, a, a virtual reality or something, just to get a feeling in 3D. And then we would mill the models, uh, so they become three-dimensional clays, full scale. So you imagine a, the size of the car, but all made out of clay, with uh, different teams working on them. Uh, after that, then they're presented to, to the board members. Yep. Board members uh, make a decision on which car they feel has got the most potential and but even after the competition phase um, actually the hard work isn't over because we still have to make sure that it's producible and even though we've considered quite a lot of um, technical elements throughout the design already up to that point it's not necessarily complete yet it's still sort of a, a rough um, understanding of, of the engineering and then when we move into one design direction then we really hone it in and what it means for um, manufacturing for engineering for performance aerodynamics there's a lot to think about and it um, goes on for about two years that's basically the z4 uh, you got like the low kidney grills high set headlamps, double round, vertically stacked icon lights. And then also the air intakes at the bottom really pushing out the width of the vehicle. Um, the large wheels, the single precise line going from front to rear, stretching across the body side, driving the whole sculpture of the car from the air outlet, the air breather, through this twisting surface uh, in, that starts in, in the darkness, we call it the shadow, in the shadow, twisting its way into the light and forming that rear muscle that really pushes out those rear wheels, especially visible from a rear three-quarter. And that line, it terminates then leading into the L lamps at the back, which is really nice. So it a, goes full circle, it goes from the side to the top to the rear forming those thin futuristic uh, lamps that are sort of also reminiscent a bit of the Z8 which with very thin uh, lights and that's basically how we would do the sketch. We have it. Z4. Yeah. By the man who designed it. Cool. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for taking us through uh, the process. Yeah, so this is yours to keep now. <laughs> Thank you.